You know, uh, I was gonna let these guys use my shulker box full of redstone, but I didn't think they'd do so much damage to it. But that's not what I'm gonna talk about today. What I want to talk about today are some announcements that are going to be spaced throughout this video as I accomplish the few things that I want to do around this uh, this area. But the first thing is how the server hasn't been that active, and I've mentioned this a lot before, and I've finally figured it out. Like, it's not dead. No one's over. It's not over. No one's terribly inactive. It's the whole idea that there's a lot to be done, but not in survival. And by that, I mean we have a lot of things that we're doing around the world, um, but they're all in creative. So the future plans are pretty simple. We want to do a slime farm, a wither slash nether mob farm, and then uh, some kind of nether web. And the nether web is our idea for a dynamic way of getting around the nether, but instead of just a nether hub, we're gonna have a system of tunnels that allows us to get to different places uh, how we please. But I'll talk more about all that later. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some items to the storage room because we've been missing the polished items for quite some time and I wanna put the fireworks in as well. So I just fell down. And that's because the access to the overflow items is in a really weird spot. So we have it back here in we have it back here in a just a series of chests that link to the very end of the ice stream. I'm going to completely fix that in this episode. It's going to be the last thing on my list, but ideally when the overflow chest is kind of in place and done, it'll kind of just be sticking out here and anybody will be able to access it. Maybe we'll just have all three of them lined up here and then the items can connect somehow. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that, maybe on either side, but it's definitely going to be better than this, where you have to climb a ladder, pray that items are not going to be falling on your head when you come up here, and then you can access all the overflow items. So right now we have firework stars from LEGO's testing and then all the firework rockets that I wanted to put in the system. And then the sticks and witch loot are overflow, and then random things like coal shouldn't even be full. But I'm going to sort this out, grab the polished items, find a place for them, and then we'll figure that out. It would appear as though a dragon egg is in the bedrock. But Nuke is coming over here right now to kind of help me with a problem that we're having. So the, uh, the witch hut loots I showed in the overflow chest are product of... These huts flush every four times, so every four cycles of witches coming down and dying, the items are being flushed into the main item stream. This is completely fine in terms of lag, it's the least uh, laggy, most efficient way to do it. However, the way we have it set up is we only have one hopper collecting uh, things like sugar, bottles, spider eyes, and the sticks. And the sticks, of course, are also going into the furnace array. Now. Uh, the furnace array doesn't catch all the sticks because once it's full, it's still only one hopper. So, uh, this one hopper can only pick up, what is it, 23 items in one pass, and this is bringing in a lot more items than that. So that's why you saw so many of these items in the overflow chest, especially sticks more so than others because sticks are produced twice as much as the other loot. So what we're going to be switching up right here is making it so that this triggers every single time. Is that what we're doing? Uh... Yeah, you can choose every other or every single time. Okay, I think every single time might be a little too much. We'll just do every other time. That way it's a more constant, steady flow of items instead of just one big bulk of items every few seconds, whatever we've decided on. But uh, that's what Nuke's coming over here to do right now. And Which side are you on? I am by... Uh, Nuke's here. One piston or both? Yeah, we, we remove one from each, each corner. Here's an interesting thing. I don't think this is ever going to update. There's a comparator facing into another comparator that's just kind of not taking the output. I think this clock was frozen on an on state. Mm, I don't know. That's so weird. Man, this place looks cool when it's nighttime. Interesting problem. We don't have any granite in here. Seriously, I, like sorted or at all? Not in this order at all. We have polished diorite, andesite, 
And there are also a lot more items backed up than I thought. I think somebody left the area while it was sorting and didn't realize. So, now I need to go and find granite. This was not supposed to be complicated at all. In fact, it was supposed to be pretty straightforward. Yeah, I figured it out pretty fast, seeing as we actually had storage for granite. I, I meant we didn't have any polished granite. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, no, I think we're going to be just fine. Um, yeah, so this is going to kill some people's, like, OCD. But I'm considering just kind of tacking on these items at the end. I'm not sure what goes in this chest. It's just marked with wooden plank. I, hold on, I'm going to just pop up here and see what's supposed to be here. Might be good. No, it's just nothing. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move this little slider here. Put in polished diorite and a site. And in fact, this is... Okay. Uh, this might work. I don't know. Because I want to put on the fireworks at some point. Maybe I'll just tack it on the end because there are three open slots. That would make sense. But I want the granite diorite polished diorite to be near here. Even though I don't know why you'd have bulk storage for the polished versions. Maybe I should just put these in the sorting system. Um, that could actually be better. Seeing as the iron and coal and stuff is back here, even though they would be separate from the main block, it would make a little bit more sense. So I might just do something like that, where they're just kind of at the end. Yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit better, because... You have to realize that in our bulk storage with the shulker boxes, you're going to need 27 stacks of that item at least to ever be able to actually access it. And that's not really practical because who's going to go ahead and craft 27 stacks of polished anything? So uh, I think I'm just going to put these items back there. I'm going to need some filter items and it's good because I left this chest here planning to do this at some point. Here's a fun fact. The book, the book, the slot for books, I accidentally put over one, so it actually came out when I filtered the granite. But all of these are now officially in the sorting system. That's, it was really that easy. So, to anybody who plays on Minerva, who has known how long it's taken to get these items in the system, seriously, it took maybe five minutes of real concentration. And yet I feel accomplished. I got a friend, Lego. Did you really? Who is yeah. it? Well, he's fat and he's white. He doesn't pay the bills, so, you know, he ate it. So, rumor on the street is, <clears throat> there is a sugarcane farm over where the villagers are. You can see that this area is still not decorated because we haven't decided on something yet. Oh, wow, that's what Crime Lord is talking about. He raised it up so that when they drop down, the villagers are nice and easy to kill. Um, that looks like an issue that I'm not going to solve, because I am here for one, one thing, this. I don't know where all of these, all of this, uh, sugarcane is going. Are they just going here? Okay, well I came here with quite a few shulker boxes, intending to steal 100% of it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So here's the plan, I was going to come over here, uh, borrow paper, or sugar cane, and then I was going to find a crafting table here, uh, do that, and then I was going to start with shulker box, put it in there. I don't actually know where all of the sugar cane is going. It looks like it's all coming here on a timer, and then the sugar cane is really just going up an elevator, and being put into the chests you see above. I I really did think it'd be a little bit more elaborate than that, huh? The haul from my paper bar, I mean trading, stealing, was uh, not good. Got about 27 times 3 stacks plus like half a shulker box. So I'm going to head over to spawn and see what they've got over there for me to borrow. I mean steal, I mean take. There it is. Oreo Lamps Elytra course. It's even better than I could have imagined. That's all I'm going to show on camera for now. Lingerie's for now. Wow! I can buy lingerie for my character. Lego's buying lingerie in Second Life because he fantasizes about being a girl. 
But on oh the server God. here, somebody made a tunnel <laughs> with a giant pixel art bed. So that tells me how they made this tunnel. And now you can just soar in with an elytra. I did soar in with an elytra when I wasn't recording. Straight to the spawn portal. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I mean... That's kind of what I was looking for. I mean, in the end, I did in fact want to have fireworks. So, I guess that's good. Here's a fun fact. Because this is the only patch of grass in all of spawn, all of these animals have spawned here. These horses were not here when we started the world. These sheep are brand new. Our cow farm will never run out of cows. I mean, we left some in there just cause, but as you can see, these ones did not escape. They just respawned. <laughs> so now, you can jump right into the web and then just launch. Well, that's just so convenient, isn't it? Wow. But, I... Er, shit. No, no! I got paper. I got paper. So what could I possibly be doing with all of this paper? Well, pretty straightforward considering the fact that I'm messing around with fireworks. But, you know, hey. Uh, so what I'm going to do with all these paper is I'm going to make, well, I guess now flight duration 2 rockets. I have my own personal flight duration 3 rockets, but that's what I like to use. And then I'll just make some flight duration 1s, and then... I think I'll just leave this paper here as, like, just for rockets, but, um, and then that way people can make whatever their preference is. Uh, I'll probably make a shulker box full of each type, just so that we have some in the bulk storage for people to grab. If anybody watching this doesn't actually know how to craft firework rockets, I should probably show you, and I should probably get these fireworks out of my inventory. So, if you want flight duration 1, it's all dependent on the gunpowder. So that's flight duration 1, 2, three, and for you extreme people, I'm sorry, it caps you at three. So if you're thinking, hey man, I'm going to go make a bunch of firework rocket flight duration 69s, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. So as I was crafting these uh, flight duration rockets, I was kind of organizing them in a chest, and then I realized, you know, I, I just kind of looked up, and I was like, oh, right, we have a system for this. So I'm just going to go ahead, put in the rockets now. That way you can easily see flight duration. One, two, three. Um, I, I don't know if you could just kind of like... Uh, you know, uh, I, I don't know if I love that, but... Actually, here, we could do that. Whatever. So flight duration, one, two, and three. Uh, I'm going to make that a little bit more normal. And uh, this is where they're going to go in the system, and then I'll just fill in the sorter items and then just start filtering them automatically. Alright, now all of the filter items are filled. I'm going to craft a whole bunch of these off camera. I'm going to use all of the paper and gunpowder that I have. And then I'm going to move on to the next topic of this video. So what I wanted to talk about was kind of expanding on what I said earlier about how the server is now really dead. And there is a lot of inactivity, that's mostly because of school, and another main issue being a lot of people don't really know what to do on the server, which is understandable. There's really not a lot to do right this second on paper. So what there is, what we got going on are like the future builds, like the slime farm, wither farm, uh, uh, and then the other stuff that we're planning that I'll again mention later, are all like, it's all creative stuff right now. A lot of time is being spent by the engineers and the more technical players of Minerva in test worlds, well, testing and doing different things to figure out what's the best layout, designs to use, and that's just something that's going to take its time, it's going to be a while, but as of now there really isn't a whole lot to do on the server, unless you're brand new like he is, and then, well, the best thing for you to do is to just gear up and get ready. Now, for if you're. So, what can be done on the server right now is honestly perimeters. That's the big thing that we've got going on. So, for example, like no matter what slime farm we go with, no matter what ends up being the best idea, 
we're still going to need the perimeter to put it in. So if you're a member of Minerva and you find yourself bored or don't know what to do and you don't have any direction, well, this is exactly what I'm going to tell anybody from now on, is until we have a design, especially when we have a design, is to get these perimeters dug. So the first one here is the slime farm. Uh, this thing just needs to be ran and then that's it. So the only thing in the way of having these farms and doing what we want to do is server like no is doing it so <laughs> lego like that so trick question right that's what i kind of oh jeez okay am i ready am i actually here nah no the server's having trouble because a lot of people are on but yeah the only thing in our way is just doing it which is a way of saying there's really nothing in the way of us getting what we want done, done. It's just people just got to do it. So, yeah, that's really the big thing is just what I'm doing right now, cleaning up uh, this area, finishing some stuff, polishing stuff up. Get it? Because polished, you know, um, uh, bad pun. And just little projects along with the bigger ones like perimeters or the nether web. But for now, I'm going to move on and do part two on my list, which is kind of coming up with a better reservoir for the empty shulker boxes for the bulk storage. So, a little bit more detail into exactly how the bulk storage works is, I'm going to have to go to Spectator to show this. The bulk storage is using shulker boxes, obviously, and when it's full, it breaks the shulker box, and this one evidently did not fire, and pushes it down. I'm going to look into that. Why did that not fire? Anyway. Oh, because this isn't backed up all the way. Okay, never mind. Never, never mind. So it breaks the shulker box and then it puts in full shulker boxes into the system. That one wasn't full uh, when it's full. That's a lot of jungle wood. Wow. Okay, that's a lot of dark oak wood too. Wow. That's a. Lo all right. I didn't know how much wood we had. And then it breaks the shulker box and puts it in. Well, a lot of people's solution to this would be to have just a crap ton of chests behind each and every one of these filled with shulker boxes, right? And that's not always the worst solution. That's probably a pretty obvious idea, considering, you know, you just need shulker boxes back here, so you put shulker boxes in, right? Well, no. See, the problem is that would only work for each individual item. You know, you would only have enough storage for each one you've got. So the solution would be to figure out why that's up. I don't know. So the solution would be to... Uh, do what I've done here. So I designed a system so that each of these shulker boxes are obviously being fed in through hoppers and I'm reading this so that when these hoppers are completely backed up the comparator triggers a little line down here and it shuts off the torch. Meaning that anytime any of these torches are on it means that the, sh that the hopper they're reading from is less than full. And when it's less than full, it goes down this wire and it triggers a clock from a reservoir, which is what I keep referring to. This is a reservoir. This is where our huge wall of shulker boxes are stored. All of these shulker boxes, yeah, there's not a lot of them. A lot of these shulker boxes are all being fed into this system and this system. And there's not a lot of room and it's very hard to expand. There are a lot of hoppers going here and it's very inefficient. Uh, the guy I put on this job was kind of in over his head. It was one of his first projects and I didn't really explain too well what needed to be done. So I'm going to put that a little bit lower down where we have a lot of room. Probably fit this square, not entirely sure, but you'll see what I do later on. And that's kind of something I've wanted to have squared away for a while now because as we use bulk storage we're going to use more and more shulker boxes and if you know they don't have access then that's going to be a problem. So I'm going to get to that right now.